On this video, we're going to make the explosion so we have a better feedback of the ship and the enemies getting destroyed. So let's create a new scene and add an sprite node. I'll rename it Explosion and save it in the scenes folder as explosion.csn. For the texture, let's assign the explosion sprite. And let's also set its Z value to 5 so it gets drawn on top of everything else. To have a really cool effect, let's add a particle to the node. I'll rename it PSmoke. Now, a particle node has many properties, and to be honest, the best way to know how it works is by playing with them. On this occasion, I'll show you the settings to get the effects I wanted. So, I'm going to set the amount to 25, the lifetime to 0 0.5 seconds, the emit timeout to 0 0.5 so it doesn't spawn forever. The half extends to 32 by 32, so the particles don't get spawned at just one point. The explosiveness to 0 0.5. And for the texture, I will assign the smoke sprite. Let's hit a meeting to see how it looks so far, and that is not quite what I'm looking for yet. So on the parameter section, let's set the direction to 360 the spread to 180 and the linear velocity to 5 so it doesn't move too fast. On randomness, I'll set the direction to 1 and the linear velocity to 1 so they go at any direction at a random speed and I'm also going to set the blend mode to add so the sprites kind of blend with each other. Let's hit a meeting to see how it looks and that is way much better. You can keep playing with the values to get a different effect, but it looks good enough for me. Let's also add some flares as particles. So I'll duplicate this node, rename it P Flare, and for the texture, I'll assign the flare sprite. And this one looks like so. Now, an explosion will quickly fade out once it shows up. And to accomplish that, we'll use an animation player node. But instead of adding a new one, we're going to copy the one on the first scene, because it already has a fade out animation. So right click on the explosion node, then click on merge from scene, select the first scene, and then the anim node. And the first thing I'll do is make the sub-resources unique, so we don't mess up the animation on the first scene. I'll set the length to 0.7 seconds, and place the last key at 0.7, so we have the animation looking like so. Let's set it back, and close this panel. Let's add a script and save it in the scripts folder as explosion.gd. Hit create, and I remove all the comments. Now, I want the explosion sprite to have a random rotation, so it looks somewhat different each time it gets instantiated. So let's call the function randomize, and set its rotation to a random number from 0 to 360. And, since this function is expecting a value in radians, we will use the function degrees to radians. In order to have the particles emitting, we're going to get the psmoke node and set emitting to true. And the same for the particle flare node. Then, from the anim node, we will play the animation fade out. After that, we're going to wait until the anim node emits the signal finished. And finally, we'll destroy this node. To try this out, I'll make this script wait one second.
and place the explosion somewhere here. Let's run the scene. And there we have it. I will hit Ctrl Z to place it back and remove this line of code. Let's now make the ship explode. I will open up the ship scene. And let's create a constant variable name, SC and explosion, equals to preload, passing the path of the explosion scene. Let's make a function name, create explosion. And in here, we're going to instantiate the explosion scene. Set its position the same as the ship's position. And then add it as a child of the main node. And in here, when armor is less or equal to zero, we're going to create an explosion. And then destroy this node. Let's try it out. And when the ship gets destroyed, it explodes. Let's go to the enemy scene and let's preload the explosion scene. I'll go to the chip script and copy the function create explosion. And back to the enemy script, I'll copy it down here. And we're going to call create explosion when armor is less or equal to zero. And also when we have collided with the ship. Let's start it out. And you can see that the enemies explode, but sometimes it creates two explosions. I'm not sure why that happens, but it looks like two lasers of the ship are colliding with an enemy before it gets destroyed, which makes sense since the ship is shooting two lasers at the same time. To fix that, on the set armor function, we're going to ask if it's Q for deletion. And if it's so, we're going to return. Let's run the game again. And there we have it. Well guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks to all my patrons and I will see you on the next video.